sports. It's in the game. Whole club selling out of here to doing stadiums. Gold diggers don't come around, they don't survive my radius. I keep it too real for real, and that's the that made me rich. That's what made me rich. Hustling, that's what made me rich. Yeah, whole club selling out of here to doing stadiums. Small business don't come around, they don't survive my radius. All I talk about, and that's what really made me rich. Hustling, that's what made me rich. That's what made me rich. The whole club. It's week eight of the National Football League, and we've got the Giants, Offensive Player of the Year. After his last game, he's now across 3,000 yards for the season. It's the Giants and the Cowboys. All that and more coming up next. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here. As it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the New York Giants. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And Charles, you take a look at this Giants ball club. They can't be any better as we hit the halfway mark. A perfect 7-0 on the year. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. And they will be led out by their 6-3 quarterback. Pass is caught by Rondale Robinson. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Right away, they rack up 10 yards on their first play from scrimmage. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. Well, you and I, partner, we got the prime assignment this week, an unbeaten team against a one-loss team. Really, not much separating these two entering play here today. Not much at all, and I think for both coaches, they looked at their team and said, guys, you got to know what you're getting into in this one, and you better be ready to go because you get to answer the big question of the day. Are we as good as we think we are? We're about to find out. No surprise to see him running again here as something he's done throughout this season. And that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, what's to stop me from going for 1,000? So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. They'll try the right side here, Barkley. And now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way in, touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley with his 
13th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Giants get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are. But this so the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And they come into this one riding that nice long win streak. And remember, next weekend is an open week for them. So if they can get the win here, a lot of momentum into that time off. It certainly is. And if you're wondering if anybody's saying, boy, this is coming at a bad time, we want to keep playing. The answer can be yes, because when teams are on a hot streak, they want to keep going. But when the veterans are telling the young guys in the locker room, an open week is always good, guys. Take it, and let's go with it. Off play action, Lyles. He's got his man downfield, it's Robinson. Touchdown! Rondale Robinson, his second touchdown on the season. And the Giants are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had the touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll search for another score as they begin here with the first and ten. Throwing to start the drive, Lyles. Just shy of midfield. Looking to throw. Lyles escaping the pressure right. Now he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Well, I don't want to be a jinx partner, put the whammy on him, but... I think we could be looking at all-time damn the ground with the way that he's going. Only a few quarterbacks in this league are capable of a 100-yard game, and he's halfway there just in the first quarter. This is a record-setting pace. Hopefully, he can keep it up, and we can have fun watching it. 20! And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 16. That went nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man Cubs are so committed to denying the big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Flushed out right. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn that for a first down. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Back to throw. Lyles. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Giants have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this. 
He capped off that last drive himself, had the touchdown run. And he'll take over here again, first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Lyles. Now this thrown deep for Slayton. And the defense loses him. It's complete. Touchdown, Giants. Darius Slayton, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Giants are able to add on to their first half lead. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field. is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He's thrown for two touchdowns and run for another. Here we go, Jack. Throwing to start the drive. Lyles. This one is Slayton over the middle. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Looking to throw, Lyles. That ball caught by Slayton, and he's brought down. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. And he's over 100 yards now after that last catch. Already, of course, leading the NFL in receiving yardage. So he's done nothing at all to hurt his cause to stay in that spot. But I've been so impressed with how he's gotten it done. Body control, route running. How about the way he competes for the football at the end of the play? On first down, Lyles. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that will bring up second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Uh, hang on a second here, because on that last play, it appears one of the Giants shaken up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. A great play there. Scoring on the two-yard keeper as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Well, Charles, he's already proven that he's not afraid to tuck that football down on the option, and he's into the end zone for the second time in the game. And that's exactly what you need from your quarterback. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. Left side, he's got Robinson. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Now a play fake here on first down. 
It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 41-yard line. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves his sticks. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. They'll look to throw again on the move to his left. There's Moody with another catch. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. We've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Throw right side, going to be caught by Warner. But he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. They go play action here on first down. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Jarnell Mooney from 10 yards out as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to his second. So now the Giants set to take over on offense. They've got the lead right now, and remember, they are riding that very impressive seven-game winning streak, trying to push it to eight. Throwing to start the drive. Lyles eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in. Touchdown. Jonah Moody, his second touchdown of the game, 17th on the year. And the Giants extend their lead yet again. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out. He's been sensational all year. He threw touchdown pass number 45 the last time they had it. We'll see if he can build on that number here. It's first and 10. <laughs> Throwing to start the drive. Lyles flush to his right. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Carter, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he has been terrific in a dual threat role. Really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him, and that's why his side is on top. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. Six yards there on the keeper. It's second down. A little do-it-yourself run right there. And a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find a way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down.
Again, it's Barkley. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. 70 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. On second down, here's Barkley. The 20. And he's going to get this all the way down to the Cowboys' eight. That one good for 37 yards. That was excellent from start to finish, from the blocking to the running, just well executed. And now let's look ahead because after that, how about a little play action, maybe a little bootleg, and get the quarterback out on the corner and get a little run pass option. And they're right down here looking for six. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Giants are pouring it on. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way. The New York set to take the field. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they? It got his man complete! There he goes again. Touchdown, Giants. John L. Mooney, 75 yards. And the Giants add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak. And now out come the Giants. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. A first down carry for Barkley. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Second down and a yard. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Let's go now. So here's a first and 10 now down. Saquon Barkley running right. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Running left, it's Barkley. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Sets him up nicely, first and goal. It was a pickup of 14. Uh, here's a fake on the jet sweep as they go instead with Barkley. And now a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. 
a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Barkley, and Barkley did not get there. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. Operating from the gun, Lyles, and he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Saquon Barkley from a yard out. And the Giants are poised to move to 8-0 as they extend their lead even further. Well, they mentioned this week, Charles, they had a couple kinks on offense that they wanted to fix. I would say they're pretty well fixed. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. I mean, just about everything they've run has been successful in this one. And if I'm the defensive coordinator... The possession switching back to the New York Giants. Throwing on first down. Lyles, a short throw pulled in by Bellinger. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. From the 29, here's a second and seven. Back to throw. Lyles, catch made by Slayton. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. Looking to throw. Lyles. And this will be caught by Mooney. It'll be a gain of five. And it'll be second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball. And they keep making the connection. Seven yards there and a first down. Short throw to be caught by Waller. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second down and one. Again, he'll drop to throw. This one goes down wide for Barkley. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They'll get 34 yards there. Back to throw again. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown. And the blowout continues. Well, business as usual for them. Well on their way to another victory. Riding a serious wave of momentum from what we've seen. And so far, they haven't met their match. So if you're going to play this team in the future, your mission is clear. You better be ready to play and match their firepower. The New York set to take the field. And right about now, heck, they might be wishing they did not have a bye week coming up. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 155 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave him with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Now this thrown deep for Slayton. And he's got it inside the 10. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to 
of their totals. Another touchdown here in the fourth quarter, and Charles, I think we can start to consider that this undefeated streak of theirs is going to be safe for another week. And partner, you don't make it this far into a season without a loss unless you're getting contributions from both sides of the ball, and sometimes even your special teams, and that's been true today. Each side helping guide them to this late lead. If you like points, a lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency. Not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory. Even better for them. So for the Giants... They continue to cruise as they move to 8-0 now on the campaign. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, they drop just their second game so far as they fall to 5-2. And, and they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Indianapolis to take on the Colts. A lot of focus out there today. Great job, guys. Hey, let's keep building momentum now.
vibes. I'm sleeping good and nice. See the dog down on lots. Lots. Pretty spice, bushy best friends with the apps. And did you, did you, did you, you need better stuff. Standing on my money, dog. Please don't. Don't get involved, ain't nobody running now. off Rules to the basics, hey. I can't be no son-in-law I can't take the summer off, I make it look good and all But this is no vacation All the goons, they respect me and I know Watch your words and your tone, you're not a part My advice, please don't try to be your love Let me know they hold close I'm selling out of here to doing stadiums Gold diggers hey. don't come around, they don't survive my radius I keep it too real for real that's what, that's what made me rich. Let's go. That's what made me rich. Hustling, that's what made me rich. Hey, whole club selling out of the hitters door stadiums. Small business don't come around and don't sit by my red. All I talk about and that's what really made me rich. Hustling, that's what made me rich. That's what made me rich. Hey, never had a mentor. Hey. Only one Scarface. Oh, I met her at a okay, club. Right. She twerked better yes. when I heartbreak. Hey. To never go to jail. I'm fresh up out the gutter. I don't know if you can tell. I'm hustling for everything I do. I do for legacy. You can call me any type of day. My dog, I never sleep. The only rule I got is if we don't embarrass me. I write down my problems, then record it just for therapy. Just for clarity. Whole club selling out of here to doing stadiums. Gold diggers don't come around, they don't survive my radius. I keep it too real for real, and that's what, that's what made me rich. That's what made me rich. Hustling, that's what made me rich. Hey, whole club selling out of the hit the door stay. Small business don't come around and don't survive my radius. All I talk about and that's what really made me rich. Hustling, that's what made me rich. That's what made me rich. The whole club. Gang gang with it, aim for your partner, pocket and pocket, that's dangerous. If you ain't 